What's up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 Forsaken video and today's video. I'll be going over one of the fusion rifles that actually came back as a Forsaken weapon it is the Crooked Fang 4FR. Now how to obtain this weapon, this is a general legendary drop which means you can get it as a legendary engram from the world or from Banshee as a rank up package. Just as reference, this is the one that I have, so it comes with precision frame fires, a long range precision energy bolt. This weapon's recoil pattern is more particularly vertical. Then we have the choice of chamber commissator and hammer forge rifle ring. I wanted that increased handling. And then we have accelerated coils and liquid coils. You can't get that faster charge time. It does lower impact a little bit, so I kind of want to keep that impact up a little higher. Next, we have moving target, increased movement speed, and target acquisition when moving while aiming down sights. Then we have rampage, kills with this weapon, temporarily grant increased damage. That stacks up to three times. We also have a target adjustment mod which gives me better target acquisition and then we have a charge time masterwork so going over a good masterwork i would go with a charge time masterwork like the one i have because if you hit a headshot they're gonna be dead anyway this is more of a pvp masterwork but in general i would say you want a handling masterwork to help with, help out with that flinch obviously getting shot with a linear fusion on like you're gonna take some flinch just like you would with a sniper so handling masterwork would be good as well mod wise in general i would just go with the target adjuster mod for the increased target acquisition but for pve like you might want to go with a major or boss spec mod depending on what you're going to be using it for obviously if you're going to be taking out majors with it it is a power weapon so it can take them out fairly easy so those mods might work just going over the archetype, so it is precision frame, all the vice linear fusions come with it as its intrinsic perk, which means it focuses on hitting precision shots, and the recoil is more particularly vertical to help with that recoil direction and control, and it's just gonna give you more consecutive shots. Going over PVE and the PVE side of Gambit, it performs fairly well, like they actually do really good damage to bosses and can even drop majors very easily and quickly with their buff they received last year. Considering it is a heavy weapon, it's meant to deal some great damage and wipe out some adds that are giving you some trouble, right? I don't suggest wasting your shots on lower tier enemies, but if you do have the ammo, like, do what you feel, I suppose. The Slinger Fusion um, can also take out those annoying taken blockers, especially in Gambit. If you hit headshots, like, with the right perks, you can melt through those PvE blockers very easily. Even those high value targets as well, you can take those guys out. A PvE God Roll would have a barrel that gives you good stability, handling, and recoil direction. Obviously, you already get pretty good recoil direction, so just depends on what you want, really. A battery that gives you either a faster charge time, a bigger magazine, or increased stability. Obviously, in PvE, you're not going to have to worry a huge amount about handling handling like that's just me in my opinion so if you want handling go for it uh you'd want auto loading holster snapshot or moving target in the first trade column and then either rampage dragonfly or box breathing especially if you're going for that boss tps in trade column number two going over crucible in the pvp side of gambit i can safely say linear fusions are pretty useful obviously they take a little more skill than a rocket or a grenade launcher but it's more made for taking out enemies from a distance versus like versus just rushing you know so there is a skill gap between those being able to help out your team from a distance with a linear fusion can change the tide of a match especially if you're playing things like control while your team is taking the zone you could be watching the lanes when the enemies are coming from and you can either take them out or weaken them and then your team can clean them up right so i personally hate using rockets so <laughs> and when i get killed by one it's like really because everybody uses them but when you get killed by like a linear fusion you're like ah oh, okay like i'm not that mad about it because you actually have to have some skill to use them right so considering most of your pvp engagements in gambit are at a distance the crooked fang has come up to be one of the more popular um i would say legendary power weapons to use obviously sleeper got that huge nerf so that's out of the question and if you don't have queen breaker like crooked fang is a good option to use obviously queen breaker is so broken right now but like it's a good option to use if you don't have that a pvp god roll would have a barrel and a battery with a balance of stability and handling range doesn't really matter you can either do high impact reserve snapshot or moving target in trait column number one and then trait column number two you can have backup plan which is pretty cool it's like the plan c perk or you can do rampage as well when it comes to exotics and perks, I can't think of any prominent exotics that are able to help you out, but any linear fusion perks like Dexterity, Targeting, and Scavenger, some other things, they will help you out tremendously, especially if you're gonna be needing ammo, like it's gonna be pretty good. Dexterity helps with that flinch. Targeting, obviously better target acquisition, but still those things will help out your gameplay a lot. Just going over my final thoughts, overall, this is the only returning legendary linear fusion, and it's the only one that currently comes with random rolls. You could still go pick up the tarantula and stuff like that from collections, but with these random rolls, like you can get a pretty good god roll. In my opinion, it can be really great for all activities if you get the right set of perks like mine, like moving target and rampage, that is a good combo right there. Having that faster charge time is pretty solid as well, so if you get a good roll, man, like definitely use it. 
now that we're at the end of the video, there's three things that I'd like to tell you guys. So number one, if you're looking to join a clan on Xbox, PS4, or PC, the D1 Fire team, which is the clan that I run, is looking for active players who want to grind the end game content knock out some triumphs etc etc if you and your clan want the benefits of a bigger clan you can apply to join with the link in the description it'll say clan link we'll review your account essentially and we'll see if you'll fit into the clan and if you have any questions you can send me a message on any of my social media links below as well if you're in a small clan with your friends and like you want again the benefits of a bigger clan you can come right on over number two if you want to help support me there'll be a link below say best way to support me that'll take you to a four minute video phone go check that out that'd be awesome but if you don't want to do that you can always like subscribe and turn on the notification bell next subscribe share this video and then comment what y'all want to see below third thing if you want to join the discord there are no requirements to join plus we're looking for people who actually have moderator experience to take over the discord like i'm more of a player not a manager so if you like doing that stuff awesome we have some text chats obviously about destiny 2 forsaken some other upcoming games like division 2 and anthem plus we have some voice chats as well i know for myself i'm on xbox so i can talk to everyone on there but if you're on ps4 pc and want to chat discord is going to be the best way to do that all right guys hope you enjoyed this video we'll catch you next time